Hey guys, Logan Surgeon here, and we're going to be doing a review of the Walking Dead's Michonne Signature Edition Katana. Now this is the second version that's come out, and the only difference between the first two, the first one and the second one is it has a fake signature of Michonne engraved right beside the normal engraving of what number you have. Now, this sword was not supposed to come out until end of November, beginning of December, so I was totally shocked when it came over a month early, and I'm surprised it's actually, I found it cheaper than I did the first one. Now, I did find some differences that annoyed me just a little bit here, I'm going to Put the uh, camera down for just one second so I can pull that sword out. Now I noticed that it's in there a lot tighter than the original one is. The original one is pretty easy to get out. This one gets stuck in the sheath a lot. So there's the signature and my number is 551 out of 5000. Now it is out of 5,000 while the original is out of 2,000 and one thing that is really different is you can see here the tip is cut off it came this way at first I thought it was a manufacturing problem but then I looked at my buddies and his is the same way now I'm guessing that they did this for a liability reasons because obviously some kids think this is a toy and they go around stabbing things and probably either stab themselves by accident or stab their friend. So AMC probably got some complaints of people getting hurt. Now as most of you know on the certificates that come with this sword it says an accurate replica. So it's not an exact replica. When I first when I got the original sword, I noticed that this gold piece right here in the show on this side of the sword it would be here. And the one that's over here is up here. And it's just AMC's way of getting around the um copyright so they could actually sell these. Now Here's the commemorative stand. It has the walker's heads on it. I think it's pretty cool. It took forever to put these together because the pegs that you stick in just did not fit. So it took about 15 20 minutes to put it together. It was a pain in the ass and almost not. It was honestly not worth it. But other than that, the sword is, of course, unsharpened. Mine, however, is going to be taken to Columbus to get professionally sharpened so I can have some fun with it. And if I would ever want to sell it, make a, make a lot more money off of it. You can see AMC did another fantastic job of going into detail with the sword. There's the Celtic symbols. Now when, uh, when I first got this, I was trying to look up reviews for it, and I found one video for it, and it was literally the guy had music playing in the background, and it was four minutes of him just sliding the camera over top the box and the katana. No words whatsoever, no opinions or whatever. So that that annoyed me because when I was looking up to see if it was just my katana that had the uh, end taken off, it drove me insane that it was just four minutes of just music. It was four minutes I'm never gonna get back in my life. So. For all of you out there looking to buy one, I'm going into as much detail as possible with this review, 
so it can help you guys determine whether or not you guys want to buy it. Now I've noticed that the original one has fewer, mm, I don't know how to put it, but the original one has fewer things wrong with it, like AMC, since it was their first one, they just went a little bit more all out with it. So, I'm guessing they're taking precautions with the second one. And especially since there's more being made of this one, since there's 5,000, the original one is going up in price. So, whoever has the original swords like a sword like I do, with every edition that comes out, yours will get more expensive. So, once again, guys, my name is Logan Sturgeon. If you guys have any questions about taking care of swords, sharpening, or and just any general questions about them, feel free to leave comments in the box below. I have a lot of knowledge with this stuff, so I can, I can help you guys out with pretty much anything you guys need. Have a good day.